Hi everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. Do you know what is the single most important thing you can do to your car in terms of upgrades? It's the replacement of tires. And most people can ignore it and not think about it too much, but it is the one element or one factor that can really, really impact in terms of driving character, the feel on the road, suspension and the ride, as well as safety. So even though a lot of people spend a lot of money in terms of upgrades for cars, they sometimes ignore the most important factor, which is the fact that tires can have a dramatic impact on how the cars feel on the road, how they ride, noise level, comfort level, handling, and also safety. And I don't know why, but most of us spend more time worrying about the exterior of the car, such as trying to get ceramic coating or PPF or trying to maybe upgrade the wheels. But you know what? People just do not spend the right amount of time thinking about what to do with the tires. And this is especially important moving into winter time, like right here in Vancouver. We don't get too much uh, snow, but definitely December, January time frame is when we will get some snow. And if you don't have the right tires, you could get into a lot of trouble, even if you have a decent car. So for example, this is the 2021 RAV4 hybrid. We also own a 2021 RAV4 Prime in the back here, two RAV4s. And both of these vehicles have been equipped with perhaps the best all-weather tires in the world, which is a Nokian WR series. In the case of the Prime behind this one, it has the WRG4, which was new a few years ago. And we've been driving it that way for about a year or so. And then in the case of this particular RAV4 hybrid, we just installed the latest tires from Nokian, which is WRG5, even better than WRG4s. And prior to these two vehicles, in my past uh, Toyota 4Runners, we had WRG3s and we ran them for many years. And they were perhaps the most important upgrades we ever did because they performed so well all year round. But now with WRG4s and of course the newest one, WRG5s, the standards are lift up again because these tires are so good. And once again, people don't think about it too much because they want to stretch out their dollars and try to keep their old tires for as long as possible. But what people don't realize is that when the tires are worn out with only let's say 10% tread left, which means you use up 90% of it, what's well, barely effective as proper tires, especially in winter tires, because when the tread is gone, well, you have no grip. Most people forget that the only contact point we have between cars and the roads are actually the tires. You know, So we can spend all our money somewhere else in the car, but if you don't have the right tires, you could just get into trouble when there is a winter storm or you're trying to drive up the mountain to go skiing, for example. So don't ignore the most important part of a car, which is tires. If you ignore them, they'll come back to bite you. But just coming back to these two tires, this is just a quick introduction video to let you know that we just installed the WRG5s on this RAV4 and we're going to monitor it and get a feel for it and compare it to WRG4 as well as against some other tires that we've experienced over the years. And so far, even though it's only been just a couple of days, I can already tell you that there has been a substantial improvement of the WRG5 compared to WRG4. It's a little bit smoother, uh, definitely a little bit quieter. I think it's a little bit more comfortable. Not that WRG4s weren't comfortable, but this one definitely kicks it up a notch or two because they just drive like a normal all season tires, which by the way, are really three season tires. And yet these tires have the grip and the tenacity and also the practicality of dedicated winter tires. So if you look at the tread pattern, you very carefully, you can actually tell that it actually looks more like winter tires than they do look like all season tires. And also they have a different compound compared to the old one as well. And I noticed that uh, even though people talk about, let's say Michelin cross climate as a bit of a gold standard, actually no, it's the Nokian WRG5 that is the gold standard or platinum standard for anyone who needs to drive this vehicle in winter conditions, in snow conditions, but they also want to drive it all year round as all weather tires. And looking at the tire trend, it will really reveal some of that because there are so many sipes here, 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 and the sipes are also very small and has many, many intricate patterns, but you also have these long grooves to push the water and uh, snow out and the tread has been carefully designed engineered to give you that maximum grip even when the conditions are actually pretty rough and you're driving through winter storm for example and really i have to admit even after driving just for a couple of days i'm taken back by how much better these ones compared to wrg4s and if you haven't replaced tires for a while just keep in mind that these kind of tires can also give you much better ride and potentially better handling 
because their grips are better even when it's not wintry condition. And that is, even in spring or summer condition or fall condition before the uh, winter sets in, these tires definitely perform better. So I noticed that they're extremely quiet, ride absolutely fantastic, and even though this car is a few years old and, and it's beginning to feel a little bit rough around the edges, when I put these tires on, well, it feels like a brand new car because it's just so comfortable and the ride is silky smooth. And again, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to replace these tires at a proper time. So don't wait until your current tires are almost worn out. You know, I would say maybe when it's about 80% worn out, it's probably time to change, especially if you're facing winter conditions. So if you're, let's say, late summer, uh, fall season, and you've only got 20% tread left, it's definitely time to replace it because worn out tires are really dangerous in winter time not just in snow but also in heavy rain or just slippery conditions in in general especially if you drive over a black ice or something well you know what <laughs> the difference between death and life literally if you have a worn out tire versus a brand new tires like this one so i can't recommend the wrg fives enough i've driven like many different type of tires i've experienced only many all-weather tires and over the years we tried everything but i can tell you that time and time again the nokian tires are the best in beating all kinds of conditions and WRG5 is definitely the best one I've seen so far. So let's take a closer look at these WRG5s again. These are called Remedy WRG5 now and you can tell the tread pattern is pretty aggressive. They almost look like winter tires. In fact, I would say that uh, Nokia WRG5s are more like winter tires that are capable and acceptable to be driven all year round versus I think most other all-weather tires are more like all-season tires with the added capability of a mountain peak symbol which you'll see in one of the sidewalls which means that it is winter rated. Again, you can see the tread pattern is pretty aggressive. Lots of sipes here, even sipes down here and sipes all the way through with, with a long deep grooves here to push the water out and you can see these grooves also goes to the outside as well so this is a wrg5 now let's take a look at our uh, the other car which is wrg4s and you can tell that this one is worn out a little bit about a year and a half of driving uh, but still really good and you still get the grooves over here you still get the pattern over here but the difference are the sipes. You can see the sipes are kind of bigger, not as intricate. On the WRG5, the sipes are much smaller, and also there are more of them. And you can tell that there are quite a bit of difference in terms of the tread pattern. From the side, it looks similar still, but what a difference in terms of the actual tread pattern. So if you wanted tires that perform like a true winter tires, not a compromised one, but you want to be able to drive them all year, you can't really beat the WRG5. I think Nokian as a brand is obviously known for making some of the best winter tires, but because of their capability with winter tires, and they make really good all-weather tires. Uh, as I mentioned, they're also really comfortable and absolutely quiet, so let me take you for a quick drive and show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm inside the uh, RAV4 equipped with the latest tire from Nokia, which is WRG5. And as I mentioned, we just got these tires a few days ago, so I have to drive some more to give you a full impression later on. And of course, I have to drive them through winter conditions such as snow and slippery conditions to give you a full report. But as an initial introduction to my feel about these tires, what I can say is that I was surprisingly shocked at how much more comfortable and how much better these tires feel compared to WRG4s, which are already great tires. They're already very comfortable and very predictable, very balanced in terms of how they feel on our RAV4 Prime. But these ones are even better. They almost feel like luxury premium tires because the quietness, the actual refinement of the ride, the silky smoothness are second to none. And even though there may be other brands such as Michelin with Cross Climate, that have received many rave reviews. If you actually look at the owner's report, most people are happier with the Nokian WRG series than they might be with the Michelin Cross Climate tires. At least that's my feel because I've driven both tires as well as some other all-weather tires from let's say Toyo or some other brands. But these ones are absolutely the gold standard. They're the best of best because these are what I call no compromise all-weather tires. 
they're as good as true winter tires with solid feel over snow and also even ice but when there are no winter conditions and driving them in a regular road like this they're still really really good so as an automotive engineer with extensive background in vehicle evaluation and testing i'm super finicky about tires and the wheels and driving dynamics and i can tell you right now that these nokian wrg5s are the best all-weather tires in the world it doesn't matter what you compare them to these ones handle the best are the most comfortable are the quietest and they also handle the best in the winter conditions which of course i haven't quite experienced too much of yet but it will be very soon once we get some snow perhaps even next week so i don't think you need to cross shop anything if you need to buy all-weather tires that are absolutely great in winter condition but they're also really good in regular conditions get the wrg5 and don't look anywhere else because they will serve you so well and they also have a really long tread life great warranty and it's got uh, the backup of a nokian as a brand which is the brand that we all trust and believe in when it comes to winter performance now i will say that my time with uh, new wrg5s are still limited but i'm going to be driving them over the next couple of months and i will give you an update in terms of whether i'm really really happy with them when the weather gets really nasty and we have some snowstorm or windstorms so i'll find out then whether these are truly truly the best in the world and whether they are much better than the wrg force that we already have as well so more to come but this is a quick report to give you a bit of an introduction to the wrg5 and to let you know that i'm really looking forward to trying these tires out over the next little while because the weather is only going to get worse and you know what i can at least trust and count on these tires to perform well so it's going to be super exciting even when the weather gets a little bit nasty i'm actually going to look forward to driving in snow so more to come if you like my video please give me a thumbs up make some comments and if you haven't done so yet would you kindly subscribe as well until next video i'm signing off for now again more videos to come about the wrg5 as i drive them over the next few months